Well, knee and hip replacement used to be considered your grandparent's surgery, but not anymore. One Chicago surgeon says he's performing more and more of these surgeries on middle-aged people, and the majority are women. NBC5's Lauren Petty talked with patients who say they wish they'd had the surgery sooner. So I teach Zumba and I teach kickboxing and I teach yoga and I teach Pilates. Jolene Noel teaches up to 15 fitness classes a week. I have to think about the fact that I have to fake knees. When she was 41 years old, Jolene had both knees replaced within weeks of each other by Rush orthopedic surgeon Dr. Richard Berger. They said, young lady, you need two new knees. And I said, well, you know, aren't you concerned? Are you concerned about how young I am? And he said, absolutely not. He said, it's, it's quality of life. A lot of studies now showing that the sooner you get the surgery, the easier recovery it is and the more complete recovery it is. Dr. Berger explains how he uses an approach that's less invasive than traditional joint replacement. What I do is make a small incision, make very small cuts and slip the pieces in. They have you walking out of surgery the same day. Amy Ferranti was 46 when she had her right knee replaced after several ACL tears. Now the mom of two says, I wish I had done it sooner. And just did the Chicago Triathlon last month. The most common thing people tell me is, besides they waited too long, is thank you for my life back. That's how Fred Hoff feels. I'm just as fast as I was in my 20s and 30s. Um, I can squat with weights. Um, I play tennis as much as I want to. After suffering through debilitating pain for eight years, he had his hip replaced and couldn't be happier. And now I'm back to 100% normal. The typical replacement lasts 15 to 20 years, so Amy knows she may need another surgery. So it's really just replacing that piece of cartilage that they put in there. Um, so it's almost like a tune-up is the way he kind of called it. Jolene says it's worth it for the mobility she has now. Most people try to avoid it as long as possible, and there's just no reason that you have to live in that pain. At the Rush Fitness Center, Warren Petty, NBC5 News. Good to know. Yeah. Staying mobile is always good.